Hi I am George Pullenart. In this video we will learn how to monitor Linux servers with Isinger 2. As a prerequisite, you need to have an Isinger 2 server up and running. In the description of this video I have a link to another video demonstrating how to set up Isinger 2 on CentOS 7. Through this video and next videos, we will learn to monitor the entire IT infrastructure. We will learn to monitor Linux and Unix servers, database servers like Oracle or MySQL, Windows servers and even Cisco routers. Also we will learn different ways to monitor using Isinger 2. Isinger 2 offers a lot of flexibility in terms of how we can monitor a system. One way to do is setting up Isinger 2 clients which offers better data encryption between master and clients. We can also use traditional monitoring platforms like NRPE for Linux and NS Client++ for Windows. For systems like routers or if a plugin is not available, we can fall back monitoring using SNMP. Last but not least we can even monitor using simple SSH. In this video we will be setting up a monitoring for Linux using Isinger 2 client. Now we will go through different steps involved. First thing we will have to do is open port 5665 in the firewall. Then we run node wizard at the master Isinger 2 server. Then at the client side we will install Isinger and required plugins. Then start node wizard at the client to do the client side configuration. Then we will update the configurations between client and master. Without further ado we will start the installation and configuration. First we will log in to icing a web 2 interface that we set up in previous video and see everything is up and running. We can see that there is only one host Nagios1. That's the host where we have our Isinger server running. We will now connect to our servers. In the screen you can see there are two sessions. One connected to the Isinger 2 master server. The other one is connect to our Linux client server. In the Isinger 2 server we issue command system ctl status Isinger 2. To check if our Isinger 2 is up and running. On the client we issue command uname a. Our client is a CentOS 7 64-bit Linux. Now at the Isinger master server we open port 5665 on the firewall. This is done by issuing command firewall cmd dash dash permanent dash dash add port equals 5665 forward slash tcp. We will do this for UDP2. We then reload our firewall by issuing firewall cmd dash dash reload. Now we do the same thing at the Linux client that we are going to monitor. Open port 5665 on firewall for both TCP and UDP and then reload firewall by firewall cmd dash dash reload. Now we go back to Isinger 2 server and run node wizard. To do that. Type Isinger 2 node wizard at the command prompt and hit enter. On the prompt where it will ask, what type of server you are going to set up. Type and and hit enter to install master server. In this section we give host name of Isinger 2 master server as common name. This is used for certificate generation. Bind host and bind port we leave empty. Once configuration of master is completed we will have to restart the Isinger 2 daemon. This is done by issuing system ctl restart Isinger 2. Now, we will get back to the Linux client and will install the Isinger epel repository from packages. .isinger.org slash epel using rpm-i. Then install Isinger 2 client which is basically Isinger 2 configured as client. This is done by command yum install Isinger 2. This will resolve and download all the dependencies and will install Isinger 2. 
Now we will install Nagios plugins by yum install Nagios plugins all, then hit enter. Oh, looks like we cannot find those plugins. This is because this is a brand new installation and we need to install EPEL repository from fedoraproject.org. This is done by yum install then web link to EPEL, our PM. Now we will retry command yum install Nagios plugins all. Looks like it's working this time. It will resolve all the dependencies then download them and will start installing. Once the installation is complete, we will configure the client by invoking node wizard. This is done by issuing command icing a two space node space wizard where it asks whether this is a master or satellite setup we type Y and hit enter. This will configure this server as client. Where it asks common name we give host name of the client, in our case it's client1.gsp.com. This is used to generate certificates for client side. Now we need common name from our master. This is the common name we gave while we configured the master. In our case Nagios1 is the common name from master. Once copied and pasted common name from master to the client. Hit enter. At the prompt, do you want to establish a connection to master from this node? Type Y and hit enter. At this prompt we have to provide a fully qualified domain name of the master. In our case it's nagios1.gsp.com. Then hit enter. Our port to communicate between master and client is 5665. Then hit enter. We will not be adding more master endpoints, so we will type in and hit enter. At this section, client also known as satellite will connect to master for CSR auto signing. We will leave host and port the default, which will be masters. This fetches the certificate information from master and will ask us to verify. We will type Y and hit enter. Now it will ask us to give PKI ticket generated from master. And in the hint, it will provide us with what command to run. We will run that in master. This will generate a PKI key. Copy this from master and paste to the client. Once pasted hit enter. We will not enter anything at the bind host and bind port. Also type Y and hit enter at both accept config from master and accept commands from master prompts. To finish the installation we have to restart icing a 2 daemon. This is done by issuing system ctl restart icing a 2. Once restarted we will check the status by issuing system ctl status icing a 2. Everything looks good. Now we get back to our master server and issue the command I sing a two node list. This should list the client we just configured. Also it will list the services that will be monitored at the client. Now when we check at the I sing a web 2 console it's still not showing anything that we are monitoring. This is because we have not updated the master icing a 2 process with this client's information. To do that at icing a 2 master we issued the command icing a 2 node update config. Once config update is completed we will reload icing a 2 service by issuing service icing a 2 reload. Now when we get back to icing a web 2 interface we can see our new client. In our case it's client1.gsp.com. You can click on the refresh button to see at each service that we are monitoring on client1.gsp.com switch from pending state to either OK or warning or critical. In our case we have two critical alerts, one for GVFS 
This is a VMware file which the guest don't have access and another is HTTP. Our client don't have HTTP service set up and running. So we will disable both of those monitoring. To do that we get back to the command prompt of our icing a 2 master server. All our client configurations are located at slash etc slash icing a 2 slash repository dot d slash hosts. Once we are in the directory there will be a dot conf file and a directory for our client. First we will examine the client one dot gsp dot com dot conf file. Then we will cd to client one dot gsp dot com directory. Then do ls dash l. Here we will have configuration files for all the services that we are monitoring for client one. Since we don't want to monitor HTTP service for this client we can disable it by renaming http.conf file as http.conf under bar disable. Once disabled we will reload Isinger 2 service by issuing service Isinger 2 reload. Now, we get back to our Isinger Web 2 console and hit the refresh button. We no longer has our HTTP service monitored for host client 1. Now we will take care of this GVFS issue. In the Isinger 2 server at the config directory we do ALS-L to list all the files. As you can see in my screen there are two .conf files for disk. We will cat disk.conf first. Then we do a cat on disk% percent to f.conf file. Oh, since there is a space in the file name I have to escape the space with a backslash. In the screen you can see, one monitors all the disks and the other monitor just the root mount. We will disable the former. This is done by renaming disk.conf to disk.conf under bar disable. Then we reload our Isinger 2 service by issuing system CTL reload Isinger 2. Now we get back to our Isinger Web 2 console and do a refresh. Looks like everything worked, which means we no longer monitor HTTP and GVFS file system. But, before we conclude this lesson let me show you one more thing. To do that, let's get back to Isinger 2 server command prompt. Then issue command Isinger 2 node list. You can see the service disk and service HTTP is still there. But we just disabled it. Didn't we? Now I want you to think for a second, where can this come from? Now let's issue command Isinger 2 node update dash config and see what happens. You can see in my screen, it's updating the configuration for disk and HTTP from client server. If we now reload Isinger 2 service and look at Isinger Web 2 console you can see monitoring for service disk and HTTP came back there. We will fix this, so this won't happen again. But, before that we will remove the newly pushed disk.conf and http.conf. Then reload Isinger 2 service. Now when we refresh Isinger Web 2 we won't see those two services. To prevent this from happening in the future uploads we have to edit config files at our client side. At the client side go to slash etc slash isinger 2 slash conf dot d directory and do ls dash l. You'll see a file called hosts dot conf. We will back up this file then edit. We will then comment our checks for disk but leave disk monitor for root as is. Now we will comment our checks for HTTP service. 
Once completed we will save and close the hosts.conf file. Then we will restart the iSinger 2 service at client side by issuing command system ctl restart iSinger 2. Then we get back at the iSinger 2 server side and issue iSinger 2 node list. We will still see the service checks for disk and HTTP. We then issue command system ctl reload iSinger 2. Followed by command iSinger 2 node list. You will notice that we no longer has disk and HTTP service checks for the server client 1.gsp.com. Now we do a final node update by issuing command icing a 2 node update dash config. In my screen you can see it's removing service disk and service HTTP. Now let's reload icing a service by issuing command system ctl reload icing a 2. Now if we look at the icing a web 2 console you won't see those service checks. To summarize. We learned how to monitor a Linux server with icing a 2 client. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like this video.